Hello my friends, today we are back in Luminar Neo and we are talking about the new software release and that is version 1.07. Now this is a pretty small um, software update, not a lot of big things, but I will show you what is new and we also do a full edit of this little bird that I took the other day in my backyard. So now when you go to edit, <coughs> If you right click on any of your tools, this is what is new. If you right click on any of your tools, you have the option of adding it to favorites. So now you have this category over here on top where that's your favorites. And if you want to remove something from your favorites, you right click and remove it from your favorites. So that would be a quick way of putting your favorite tools on your favorites folder and um, I don't know, some of you guys might like to do that. For me, it doesn't really make much of a difference, so I will not be doing that. The second uh, part that got updated from this new software release is when you use an overlay. Now within this overlay, we got masking, which we did not have before, and this comes really, really handy. I really like this feature, and this is gonna help us with our edit process so much better. Now let's, because this is a, such a short video, there are only those two things that they updated in this new software update. We will do a full edit of this bird that I took. And as you can see over here, it says the Vero Brada means this is a raw image straight from the camera. I have not done any edits on it. And let's see. Um, I shot this image. I went back to Lightroom just so I can show you. I shot this image with my Sony A1. 200 to 600 millimeter lens at 600 millimeter and ISO 400 shutter speed 1 to 50 of a second handheld and F 6.3 so wide open. Great. Let's go into our Luminar Neo and how would we edit this image? First thing by looking at this image, I would like to crop it and let's see what crop AI suggests. Yeah, I do not like that crop. We will not go with their suggested. We will go maybe with the vertical crop. And let's see, I think I want the eye to be on the upper thirds. And maybe I will put it right in the middle like this, maybe a little bit to the side. That way he has some room on the right side where he's looking. So I think I like that better. Great. Now, by looking at the image, we see it is underexposed, so we will go to develop and increase the exposure a little bit. Not too much. Something like that looks good. Now, I would like to close the develop and open it again, and this time I will increase the exposure again, but this time I would only apply it by, to the bird. Let's see how Mask AI does. It should be a pretty simple subject, but I have I have this Nikki suspicion that it's not going to work so great on picking my subject. Let's just see how it does, if they improve things with masking. Somebody just asked me today in the comments, what do I think about uh, Mask AI now with the new Luminar Neo? And uh, I don't know. I think the mask is not so great. Honestly, that's my honest opinion. But it is a big improvement from what it was before, so I can't complain too much. So it looks like in this image you found sky, flora, and mountains. Let's see what they think each one of this is. For the sky, nothing is selected. So, well, just very little bit in the background. So that is a very, very poor selection. Let's see what they think flora is. And it's a little bit of the stick, a little bit of the bird. Not impressed with that. We cannot use it. Let's see what they think mountains is. And that's a little bit of the bird. We cannot use any of these masks. This should have been a really easy masking. It's clear subject. There is no distracting background, but it's unusable. So I will stick to our good old brush. I am going to paint this effect just on the bird. I have to make sure I don't get out onto the background over here because otherwise I'll get some haloing. So I will take my eraser and just kind of feather it out of the background. And let's see, that looks better. So we increase the 
exposure. Maybe we want to add a little bit of whites in it just to further brighten it and then bring down the blacks to create a little bit of contrast. We can even go to color and increase the saturation. Not too much, something like that. Now I think that yellow, it's a little bit maybe too greenish. So maybe I'll go back and color and use a HSL adjustment layer just to take the yellows a little bit more towards orange to warm them up a little bit. I don't want them to look too green. Great. Now we're looking better. Let's see our image so far. This is our before, this is after, and this is not bad. Now I would like to work on this little catch light to make the eye pop a little bit. So I'll go back to develop. I will go into black and whites and really increase the whites. Something. Let's turn on these clipping warnings. I do not want to clip my highlights onto the eye. So I will just go with something like that. And now with the masking and I will brush in Command Plus to, br to zoom in. I will only brush on the catch light. Oops, I don't know what happened there, but all right. And I will mask this with a brush just on the catch light, just to bring some life into the bird's eye. Something like that. And let's see, this is the before and after. Before and after, and that looks better. Command zero to fit the screen. And let's see, we, the, the background is kind of boring. We have this gray background and um, Let's see if we can add some color into that background. Maybe we even want to add a little bit of enhanced AI, not too much, maybe something like that. And that looks good to me, but it does look like we're clipping. Oh, maybe you're not clipping into the eye. We are clipping a little bit. So we have to mask with the brush. We're going to erase just a little bit of this enhancement into the eye because I do not like to clip any of my highlights. And that did not do the trick, so maybe we'll go into develop and just take down the exposure just a tiny little bit, just enough to remove that clipping. And then I will go to my brush and I will only paint this on the part over here. That way we are not clipping any of our highlights. Great. Maybe even here on this little part over here. There you go. Now we are looking great. Uh, command zero to fit to screen. Now let's work on our background. Let's see if we can make it a little bit more interesting. What can we do? We can add some color. We can add an overlay. I don't really have any overlays right now loaded in here. Let's just work with color. Um, I will just take this very plain color overlay. If you look at it, it's just a colored Overlay, I will change the blending mode maybe to soft light. And that looks better, but I do not want to have it on the bird. So let's mask it out of the bird with the brush. Uh, I will erase it. And this time I have to be a little bit more careful. Because, you know, it will be very obvious if we went outside the lines. So I'm just going to do something like this. And we will fix, fix this mask in a second. All right. Maybe now I will go to paint. And with a bigger brush, we'll just kind of feather it just on the very edges. Great. And now in order to blend it better, because I don't want my bird to look blue, maybe we'll change the tone of this uh, layer. So let's see, with the layer selected, we will go to color and we want to change the color of it. So we'll go to hue shift and we will move this slider until we get a color that works with our image. We can make it purple, we can make it blue, we can make it whatever color we want. I kind of still like the blue because blue is the opposite of yellow. So they really complement each other good. 
So let's see this background. This is the before and after, before and after. We did make it more bloom. And now by looking at the image, I think I have to go back into when I brightened the bird and also on my background and kind of fix a little bit of that masking because it just looks a little bit too dark on the edges and my mask was not great. So first we will go to the second develop and I think this is where we brighten the bird. This is the before and after, before and after. And we really should work on this mask and paint a little bit more. For that I will move into 100% and let's see, I will go a little bit closer to the edges. Over here I'm blowing up my highlights so I will erase from these white parts. Maybe not so much. I'll paint back into it with 50%. And that is good. And then I'll go to 100% and just kind of try to go down to the edges. Just to, you know, do a little bit better selection of this bird. Alright, now we have this blown out highlights over here so we can erase with maybe 50% just from these parts over here. There we go. And now when we zoom out, fit the screen, we have a little bit better of a selection and things are looking better. I maybe went a little bit over too much here. So I will erase with a smaller brush, just kind of go over this edge where I went over. And there you go, that looks better. Now let's go back to my overlay and go back to tools, layer property. And that looks pretty good. What I wanna do, maybe I want to do a little bit of color vignette here now. Let's see our image before and after. This is before, this is an after. Before and after. And now in order to add a color vignette, I will add one more of these uh, overlays and I will change the blending mode to multiply and then reduce the opacity just to maybe not multiply. Let's go with overlay. Gives it a little bit more color. And now with this uh, overlay, we will add a mask. And I will use a radial gradient and just kind of create a little vignette. Kind of squish it down like this and then make it bigger. Something like that. And let's see. That looks good, but I do want to change the color of this layer just like I did before. So on the color tool, I will go and shift the hue to something more blue. Let's see, something like that. And this is our before and after, before and after. That looks great. The whole image, this is before, this is after, before and after. One more thing I would like to do, and that is go back and to develop while I'm clicking on to my background, the image with the bird. I'll go into develop and then I will go into color. And I want to increase the vibrance a little bit just to bring out the bird even more. And that looks good. And then And now our image, this is our before, this is the after before and after i think we came a long way and it's an acceptable image thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i will see you in my next video